Welcome guys, this is uh, Popping Out. We're here in the beautiful, very manly place called the Fortress of Solitude, which is located at 53 University Ave in Newark, yeah. New Jersey. This is our pop basis of our operation. I am Matthew Ramos. This is my brother. How you doing, Eli? So right now, we have, as you can see, a collection of figures that was actually new for this year. It came out, at least announced, during the New York Toy Fair. If I'm wrong, I'm pretty sure you'll correct me. <laughs> but um, as you can see, it's a great mouth detective line. And I remember watching this movie when I was a kid. I don't know if my brother Eli got my parents to buy it for us. It came out in 1986. He is correct. That is fact checked. Three, <laughs> three years before you were born, and I was only six years old, and I think we saw it. Thurman Carey, shout out to my boy Thurman. Video cassette, probably late, or maybe late 80s, early 90s. Because if you were, if you were to remember this cartoon, then you had to be old enough. So at least, yeah. guessing early 90s, he had to VHS. So that's how I saw it. I didn't see it in the movies. And for those youngins, VHS was this cassette tape that you can <laughs> see in the show Stranger Things. There you go. <laughs> and there's a lot of mock boxes out there, there now. Is, there DVDs is. DVDs and stuff. Like so... The cool thing about Pops, at least in the last, uh, I would say, five years or maybe going back, they've been having their finger on the pulse of our childhood. Everything. Nostalgia sells. Yes. So, you know, I picked up my addiction through my brother. You know, he's a huge collector. You know, I don't know how many, how many comics do you think you own? 10,000 easy. Yeah, I own a, yeah, a few own, thousand. One day I'll know. count them, but then I'll give you a head count. When we do like a branching out from one of our other podcasts. Yeah, sure. a lot. Mostly yeah. Batman, though. Sure. <laughs> and out of a thousand, my brother handed me down some. A lot of the Robins. I know like one of the first sets he gave me was uh, Robin number two, which is the storyline of him against Joker. With the reflective uh, cover. Yeah, you know, has yeah. the, the, the little card the hologram so you know we're big collectors you know we're very passionate but as you can see this line actually was announced in june 29th of 2020, 20, 2020. so that was some good news wow. uh, for 2020 i know it's uh you know this year has been very uh tedious it's like, like a cartoon or a comic book but listen consequences things like this helps us escape and uh you know, we can find the small things that make us happy. So getting into the small things, as you can see, the characters are mice. And we're going to oh. throw it out. Not that mouse. <laughs> you know, Mickey was big on their mice. Actually, bringing that up with the rescuers, they had a little conflict at this because it was coming out too early. So they didn't know if they wanted to do another mouse film. Luckily for us, they did. Yeah, it was a good cartoon. I think it was, I don't correct me because the internet will correct me. Of course. I don't know if Don Bluth worked on this one from All Dogs Go to Heaven, um, the uh, Dragon's Lair game. We'll go over video games another time. Uh, yes, I actually. But it has collection. that look, and I think Tim Burton may have even worked on this one too, if I'm not mistaken, as well. It kind of has that feel. The animation was flawless. It was really cool. I mean, we'll get into the plastics in a moment, but I would like to shout out to Radigan here. Vincent Price was one of my favorite actors when I was a kid. Like. You know, the cheesy horror, black and white movies. He was a six foot tall. He was creepy, but he was also really uh, elegant in a way and very smart. And you could tell, right? But the cool thing about this character was originally he was supposed to be a scrawny rat. I'll bring him up. Radigan. We'll talk about Radigan. Bad guy first. Why not? Mm -hmm. Everyone likes the villain. So he was um, kind of made to be a thin rat. But since, I guess maybe based more on Vincent, because Vincent Price was tall and thin. And also, too, also from the Thriller, you know, remember from Michael Jackson's video, too. Um, but because of his voice, and when animators draw a little bit of, I'm also an animation, we both are, but I'm an animation historian, too, or at least self-proclaimed. Um, when, when people do voice acting, they will actually draw from the videos, the character, the actor, and the way they're performing. And since Vincent Price had, he was really tall already, and he had this really booming voice and this elegance to him, they were like, you know what? So that is scrawny rat, let's make him bigger. So like his ego will also kind of embody his body, <laughs> more or less. So yeah, that's, that's kind of a fun fact. Vincent Price passed away in 1993, but he was acting all, like I tell people, do your passion because it'll take you all the way to life. And you'll be happy, you'll be at peace, 
and you die doing what you love, you know? Of course. Can't ask for a better life than no. doing what you love, man. And the cool thing about Radigan, too, I mean, let's not call him a rat because, you know, he doesn't he like that, that too much. He's a big mouse, you know. But um, the cool thing about this pop is one of the iconic scenes when um, after they kidnap the queen, you know, pretty much he has his robe out, the robot is introducing him, and he comes out of the, the curtains in the back, and he has all his medals, you know, self-proclaimed, you know, he has it out there. Look at me! And the cool thing, the pop actually, like, went into pretty high detail. Yeah, these are awesome. Of all the little medals. He thinks he's a ninja turtle. He has his uh, R on his belt. <laughs> he has his sword. Actually, what I don't know if this is... I didn't notice in the movie, but if you look at his tail, as you can see here, his tail is actually partly covered. covered. So I thought protection. that was pretty awesome. Just a tip. You know, so... <laughs> said, listen, Radigan is... And the cool thing about Radigan, the whole, you know, dynamic with him going against my man, Basil. Basil is that they're both like equally, you know, I would say on the playing field of in intellect. It's kind of like a Moliarty to Sherlock Holmes. Of course. Holmes, yeah. yeah, well, just in case you didn't know, this is definitely a homage to the Sherlock yeah. Holmes series, which is a pretty yes. good break. Yes, uh, let me show you the actual image of it. And the ghost woman behind me is my lovely wife, who's helping me, you know, bring out the facts, keeping us on track. Well, the tip. Of course, see? So I'm telling you, I, I think they hit it pretty well. I don't know if you can catch it, but oops. That is the scene. So yeah, it's, and he does have the coat. I missed it. You know, yeah, he does cover tail. his tail? He does cover no, his tail. So, so listen, it's, it's probably sense. one of those things I was yeah. so quick. But, you know, Funko's doing a great job. Cool thing about the box. My brother's pretty good with voices, so I let him read it in the best. Vincent Price. Oh, really? That you can do all these. Oh boy, here we go. I never did Vincent Price before. <laughs> oh, this is wicked. So delightfully wicked. It sounds it's kind of like Stewie, but it's all good. <laughs> better than I can do. So as you can see, that's actually. But I don't know what year was the first pop that started with the uh, when you pop the lid open. Those are really cool. They actually have different. Let it be numbers. Something related to the actual movie. So as you can see, you know they have his saying. Right on there. So it's a really awesome addition to the line. So let's go to the man. The mouse, Basil. Smile, everyone. So let me show you right, right here. You want to do Basil? Elementary, my dear Dawson. So as you can see, they have it up there. It's awesome sculpt, too. You know. So here's the box. Fun, useless fact. This was one of my top five Disney movies when I was a kid. So when Thurman used to bring the VHS, we had like the ones that we watched all the time. So there were episodes, there were movies that I'd be like, "Yo, bring it over, bring it over," and I'd watch it again and again. That was definitely one of my top five. I love the character too. He was slick. He was just like Sherlock Holmes, really. And I wonder, you know, if uh, you know Sherlock Holmes definitely helped breed different superheroes with Batman, and even this movie when he goes, you know, in his I guess. His disguise when he goes to the the pub. Oh yeah, he like has the Malone. yes, yes. That's yes. what I was hinting at. You know, he has the little like bum's cap, and Did he has like the a fake scar coat. too. Yeah, he has the mustache. He has a toothpick in his mouth. I guess that's the stereotypical uh, villain who hangs out in the like the pirate on the the pier. But yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's pretty cool. And as you can now see, I gotta watch the movie. I guess. Yeah, I made sure we watched it before we filmed this, so so we can put me on blast. We can we can hit. You've seen it, probably seen it a hundred more times than I have. Yeah, I did. I know the I know most of the lines still. You pop it in. I pop it in most of the lines. You know, so and even like anything else in the time in the movie, there's a point he gives up because he feels defeated. Yeah. And his partner, you know, actually had to remind him like, listen, we're down now, but we're not out. And that's always a great lesson. And that he was giving up, right, when their yeah. lives were going to get yeah, that's cut it. off. Literally. He admitted defeat before it even happened. It was, you know, it could have happened. But his partner was like, listen, as long as we're, we're up, we're going to keep fighting. So that's a, there's a lot of hidden decision. messages yeah. that are really positive in a lot of these Disney films. I feel sorry for the moms in the Disney films, but yeah, you <laughs> other than that. So, and now we the have last the last of the line so far. Which is Olivia, and her last name is Flabbergasson. Flabbergasson. Or whatever. So, um, <laughs> the cool thing about her, you know, it's very cute. Almost like 
to the movie actor. The big head, the big eyes. You know, she has a little... Uh, Reminds me of Roxy when she was three. Yes, and Roxy is my brother's daughter, just in case, uh, yeah. you know, you, you ain't follow him on his page to know that little insight. But yeah, no, she's pretty awesome. Anything else, very dynamic pose. I think the animated line of the Funko Pops, they do an amazing yeah, job. They do. To the point that you forget it's a Funko Pop. Yes. Other than the scary ghostly eyes. Yeah, but, and even some of them actually have eyes. So, and the cool thing around here, which I'm hoping. Oh, yeah. So, there's not really a saying that they have. But if you look here. A silhouette. I don't know if you can see the silhouette. And no, it's not Batman. <laughs> you know. Or Man Bat. Or Man Bat. You know, it's actually the one of Radigan's, I guess his main man. His hench, his hench, his hench bat. Who is Fidget. And Fidget, Fidget uh, just in case you forgot, he's a bat who cannot fly, and he has a yeah, peg leg. He had like the crutch. Oh, uh, no, or no, no he was limping. He was just a peg leg. Kind of boot. Yeah, uh, he, had a, he had a little boot, yes. You gotta you know. draw that character. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that... You gotta the, make them. Buy the, them the so they'll make shadow, more. The shadow, yes, yes. The, the shadow is indicating like, you know... I have two un Unlockable. Them. So if you buy them all, <laughs> we're, I'm putting it out, you know, in pods of energy into the world that they actually put it. My wife's like, please don't. We need money. <laughs> <laughs> and not for pops. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, like, listen. The, the, Fidget. Fidget. The movie's great. I mean, like... You know, I saw it again. It holds up. I think the runtime is an hour and fifteen minutes. Yeah, so if you if you take away like the credits, like an hour and five. So it's short, it's sweet. You know, it, it gets you in the beginning of the movie. It's like a murder happens. You know, when she yeah. Yeah. she's with her father, they showing her a cute toy, and already bam, kicks in. You know, uh, he's fighting. Well, let me not say he. You know, Fidget's fighting with the father. Then it cuts back to her fright face. She hides behind, and you cut back. They're gone. So that's how the movie kicks out. And it really doesn't lose momentum for the no, whole hour and a half. And the cool thing, let's go to, to Radican. When Since we're diving, mixing different movies and genres, Radican's pretty awesome in this movie. I mean, like, because he's very smart, but his problem is rage. And, you know, talking to modern shows, you would say if you watch the new Daredevil, when you have Roski and Fisk, yeah. Yeah, very similar. Like Fisk. Yeah, you're right. Very similar. Very like, you know, they, they, they have that talk, you know, the gift of gab, but Until their rage well, yeah. is what keeps them down and it shows you. When they get cornered, they go nuts. Yeah, so when that brute strength reaches his intellect, but he can't keep both. And that is his downfall. It I won't spoil scene. the movie, but okay. go Let's ahead. say a quick yeah. one. In the movie, see, he's very well dressed and all that, but he actually hulks out when he gets upset to a point he becomes like brutal. That yeah. was really he cool. He becomes a gravity. And you think about it. Rat. I wonder what they would have done if he was scrawny, if they would have went from the first idea. Probably wouldn't have been as cool or as creepy. Yeah. I remember as a kid being freaking out. So, so, so yeah, I mean, like you know, listen, it's one of those things. I, there's not much to clean about the film. Maybe besides the point that there's only one, you know, I, I mean, the line pop It's based line. on a book series, right? Yes, yes, there is an actual, it's the Basil, Basil Baker, Baker Street, Street. that is that. actually the, the book series, and it was by Eve, uh, her last Eve name? Titus. Titus, Titus, right? Yeah, so, uh, listen, I was hoping that they would, I don't know how deep this, the books go, but it would have been awesome to uh, see another one, but then we always have, uh, Sherlock Hound, which uh, oh yeah, pretty much, which was before this actually. I think that was in eighty two, yeah, eighty four. The one from Miyazaki. Yes, yes, and that's yeah, that was pretty good. I have that on DVD. This, you know, if you're feeling especially uh, for those homes. that don't know Miyazaki, that's Spirited Away, Howl's Moving Castle, Ponyo's uh, Ponyo, right? Yes, a, yeah. a lot of others. Yeah, even Lupin. The, yes, uh, what was it? The Count, the Castle of Cagliostro. Yeah. And the cool More thing, stuff to watch. Yeah. He's like, you know, pretty much Japan's uh, Walt Disney. Yeah, and he was influenced you know? by Walt Disney, too. He, he actually said it. Yeah, that's great, you know, documentaries. And he still does art to this day. I mean, like... Beautiful watercolor. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, listen, if you're, not, if you're not aware of, you know, his films, please check it out. And one thing about art, it inspires art. That's the one thing I love about this store and I love about art. It's like... If I got into this as a child, it spawned into something else, and another interest, and another interest, and yeah. paintings, uh, writing, drawing, uh, watercolor, acrylics, murals. It's amazing. 
So that's why art is so important. It actually, it's like the wildfire of our soul. Maybe in a fireman makes sense, right? But it's like the wildfire of our soul. And like fires, for it to grow, it has to be fed. Yep. So with that, you know, being around in the store, that's all about comics, you know, movies, pop culture. Pop culture. These things, the more we collect, the more it feeds into our passion. With passion, you can create. And, you know, pretty soon, I mean, like my brother paints all the time. You know, I draw, I like doing illustrations. But again, I learned from his passion. So his fire lit the furnace underneath me. And hopefully from the people we come in contact with, especially Definitely. we do, we work with a lot of youth yep. as a teacher, Schools, yeah, you know, children. so that's something we, we try to share, you know, so listen, your passion, that be, passion's important, toys, music, movie, writing, dancing, anything, cooking, whatever you want to do, always do it, no follow matter. your bliss, of course, you know, listen, if it's not hurting nobody, you know, make sure you follow through with it, because it's your life, no one can tell you otherwise how to exactly. live it. You know, I guess with that, you know, we'll wrap up with what line, actually, before oh, we get out of here. Shoot. If they made, let's say, season two, you know, a series two, what what figures besides Fidget, I mean, like, that's a no-brainer, what would you like to see in this uh, coming line? <laughs> Funko, this is for you. Hopefully you're listening. You know. From from this? From well, this? Yeah, from the Great Mouse Detective. Hmm. Maybe a... Funko rides of him and Dawson on Toby, or the three of them on Toby. And if you want to explain who Toby is, oh, Toby's the basset hound that lives upstairs. Is that Sherlock Holmes' dog, by the way? That is. Okay. So I at the end of the movie, when everything's said and done, you actually see what they hint at Sherlock Holmes playing his violin upstairs. That's right. That's right. So yes, yeah, so he is actually, you know, they they live in the same world, you know. If you want to think of that, I mean, like me personally, again, Radikin one of my favorite characters in this line. I think out of the Arabies one, well, when he goes rabid, oh, yeah, rabid would be awesome. Rabid, uh, you know, when you make him with the, the bewildered look, or even regular outfit, you know, or I even would like to see, uh, of course, his partner, Dawson. You know, Dawson, or if you make a two pack, you can put them in their little uh, pub outfit. Oh I yeah, think that's that'll cool. be great. Mother uh, Funko. What about Felicia? Felicia? The cat. Oh, yeah, right. You're right. Oh. So, yes, the mystery voice again is my wife, Tiffany. <laughs> yeah, she's right. Yeah, the cat. You know, the cat would be Felicia. great, too. You know, maybe make her, like, 10 inches. You got to hold her mouse. But that's that's wild. We're not going to we're not gonna go there. But, yeah, no, Felicia, <laughs> yes. Yeah, Felicia would be awesome. So, remember, Funko, if you need any ideas, you know what to reach out to. There you go. My wife. Because she, <laughs> she's the <laughs> thinker. <laughs> But yeah, I guess with that, listen guys, we'll be coming back to you with uh, different uh, genres, different figures, and you know, let us know what you think, you know, let it be about our lovely face mask, which again, he's my brother, but we are wearing our masks, you gotta be protected in this world, you know, so uh, until then, I mean, like, you got any uh, last words? Last words, stay encouraged and encourage one another. There you go, listen. Proof of the pudding is me, man. You know, if, I, if I need help, I got my wife and I got my brother. So, and I got fungals <laughs> when they're not around. And look at these guys. Don't they bring a smile to your face? Look, you're smiling. With that, listen, guys, stay healthy and stay safe. Thank you for your time. Peace.